confused. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be going through my illustrious Dolph Ziggler Elite Figure Collection. But first off, if you guys did enjoy my new intro here on the channel, guys, please go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram. There you see it on the screen. Definitely go give him a follow for the amazing intro that he brought us here on the channel. But getting into today's video, guys, as you can see here, we do have my entire Dolph Ziggler Elite figure collection. I don't even know how many there are. I mean, let's do a quick head count. There are 21 Dolph Ziggler Elites right here. I feel like I had 22, but I guess I'm mistaken. There are 21 here. I, I, I mean, I did include every single one, I do believe. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to start things off with this Ziggler up. First, we do have my promo attire Dolph Ziggler in the skinny jeans and Converse's, as you can see right there. These look absolutely incredible. This was made by Mad Reaper Studios on Instagram. Huge shout out to him for this amazing figure. Shirt was made by Ring of Clothing, and we do have the ponytail on there. You know, he, uh, when he come, or before he joined Drew McIntyre, he used to come to the ring in uh, blazers and tight skinny jeans and Converse's, and uh, he'd have his hair up. So this is basically on that look right there and I think he totally nailed it I think he even added a little Easter egg on the back there if you guys can see there is an MDT on the back of the Converse's right there so that is an epic Dolph Ziggler definitely one of my favorites in my collection because nobody else has anything else like this the next Dolph Ziggler in my collection, guys, was made by my boys Venomine Figs and BEW Animations. I made Venomine a custom fantasy Spider-Man Neville, so he came back with the own personal MDT-inspired Dolph Ziggler. As we can zoom in right here, you guys can see on the buttocks right there, there's my logo. You got this zebra print and all this good jazz coming through. You guys already know. You guys have seen this a hundred times on the channel, but it is a Dolph Ziggler, so we must include it in the Dolph Ziggler collection. But huge shout out to those guys for this amazing custom. I'm still thrilled about it. One of my favorite Zigglers in my collection, hands down. Next up, we have one of the many custom Dolph Zigglers in my collection, and this is my No Mercy 2016 Dolph Ziggler, where he captured the Intercontinental Championship from The Miz in his career match, and this, this match had me on the edge of my seat, guys, but you do see the decals on there. This was made by Showstopper Custom Figs in the bright pink. We got the decals going all around, and he did sculpt on the boot flaps, which is my favorite part, and this is just great overall figure. I wish we would get bright you know, pink, blue elites, as we can see, all these customs. I wish that Mattel would give us some of these, but uh, we do have that one. Next up, we have Fastlane 2018. I do believe that was it. Is it Fastlane 2018? I can't remember. Um, but anyways, you do see the bright pink right here. It's like a, uh, he sealed it with the gloss because they were like glossy, leathery type look to them. So you got the Heel Crew logos all over there. We do have the custom braided, brownish, orangish, weirdish, ish, ish hair color there. I do enjoy this figure also made by showstopper custom figs he did sculpt the boot flaps on there so we do have that fast lane figure right there next up we have another showstopper custom figs custom Dolph Ziggler and it is in this blue attire we just went over this in my favorite customs of 2018 video and this is one of my favorite attires like the the pink and I mean the pink what are you stupid Brad come on oh. But you see the blue color right here, guys. This light blue color is so beautiful. Again, I wish he'd wear this more on TV. Sculpted boot flaps, and yeah, Dolph Ziggler, one of my favorites. Easily got the HBK hairpiece on there, which completes it, and I love that blue color. I love looking at my Dolph Ziggler shelf just because of that blue. It pops off real nice. Next up, we do have the Money in the Bank 2017 Zebra Hollywood heel attire. He does have the ponytail in there because he came out with the ponytail. He didn't finish the match with the ponytail, however, but uh, I do like this. He literally hand-painted all of this, and it looks so great. These stripes on this are so immaculate. I don't know how the crap Showstopper did it, but he, like BEW, is just a total magician but we got the boot flap sculpted on there. All the decals are accurate, and I just love... People ask me, Trey, why don't you use your custom Dolph Zigglers in the pick fed? It's because I don't want to ruin the customs. The customs look beautiful. They look amazing. They're like a freaking work of art. You think I'm going to go up there and ruin them? What, are you insane or something, Brad? But uh, we got SummerSlam 2016 right here, guys, in the chrome with the America tights. We got this in basic form from Mattel. Did not get any of these in elite form, so that is pretty upsetting, but uh, it's kind of glad for me because, you know, I don't I don't want uh, Mattel to make anything I have a custom of. But we have the decals going around right here. We've got the booty logo right there. We've got custom boot flaps on there. You know how we do. Everybody always asks, Trey, why do you put the, the knee pads on there? 
because he wears knee pads underneath his tights. I mean, what do you want me to do? I like the knee pad look, so we're going with the knee pads. But that's custom 2016 SummerSlam Dolph Ziggler, and that match was pretty disappointing. But I'm going to blame Dean, Dean, Dean Ambrose. Next up, we do have Extreme Rules 2016 right here, guys. And this is beautiful. This is where he fought Trash Corbin. And this is one of my favorite attires. This actually was not made by Showstopper. This was made by Matt Alexander, who I haven't heard from since I got this custom made. So I hope he's doing well. But uh, we got the pink and white on there. One of my favorite attires. I wish Mattel would make this one. This one I really, really wanted. This is actually one of the first customs in my entire collection. So uh, if you guys can believe that. But we do have the custom Chinese uh, t-shirt on there. So it's got, you know, all the, the it's, it's no Velcro on there. We do have the pink bands in there, braided hair, 5 o'clock shadow, black wrist tape. Very, very nice figure. And you can see he sculpted the boot flaps, but not near as accurate as Showstopper. So, uh, yeah, this is my Extreme Rules 2016 Dolph Ziggler. Moving on, we do have Money in the Bank 2016. And it's like we got all kinds of different attires in here for Dolph Ziggler in the long pants. All these are customs. Like, I don't think we've covered one Mattel figure yet. But uh, we do have this one. This one's also very beautiful. It is the variant of the Extreme Rules one, but this is Money in the Bank. Got the blue and black on there. Really good contrast. Kind of reminds me of HBK in that one attire. Do have the sculpted flaps on there. Again, I don't know how he sculpts the flaps so accurately every single time. But most of these head scans also have the custom Triple H hair piece on a Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler head scan. So that's pretty entertaining. Right here, this was a figure I got from a fan. He did an arm swap and a head swap with the Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler. So huge shout out to that fan that sent this. I cannot remember who it was, but huge shout out to you, bro. I do plan on making this into a custom, so maybe I can do that for you. We're, uh... You know, you got the nice Elite 39 head scan on there. Elite 19, very underrated figure. Uh, I took this and made a Fantasy Ziggler out of it, which we'll see in just a little bit. I love these boots. Great figure, but the, the original head scan on this figure was good as well. But uh, nice head swap on that one. Next up, we have the Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler, and this one has a terrible head scan. I mean, what are, what are we doing here, Mattel? This one's sort of beat up as well. Actually, you know what? I do remember it. This was uh, given to me by Fig Skib Customs. Thank you so much, bro, for that Dolph Ziggler. I wanted to make sure I plugged that. But this Dolph Ziggler right here, I feel like it may have been sent to me by Fig Skib as well. I cannot remember exactly, but uh, jacked arms that Mattel gives them. That's why you see all my customs have the smaller arms, way more accurate. But uh, Mattel just continues to give us these jacked arms but uh, this elite 24 Dolph Ziggler not accurate to the attire at all here is my custom cash in Dolph Ziggler and this is what this is supposed to replicate this one's way more accurate to the actual cash in even has the rubber band on there this was made by showstopper custom figs this is Mattel's and you can see this is like throw up -y pinkish garbage and this one's just way more accurate it's got the shimmer to it like those trunks really did it's got my time on the butt and, and the custom's just way better, guys. I can't even express it. We even got the custom head scan on there. So we knocked out two Zigglers in one right there with the custom hair sculpt. And, uh, yeah, the custom's way better than Mattel's there. Sorry, Mattel, but uh, I still love your stuff, but that custom Ziggler is just untouchable. Up next, we do have the Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler without the jacket. And then we have the Elite 5 with the jacket. And I think this is a very underrated Dolph Ziggler figure, guys. I mean... Um, this I need to repaint that black. What is all that mess down there? Both of them have that issue. What is that? We'll have to fix that. But uh, this is the first Dolph Ziggler ever made. This is the Elite 5. It does have the cheetah print wrist tape, which is very, you know, uni unique. We've never seen anything like that besides maybe Enzo Amore or something. But this uh, jacket is like paper. It literally, you could tear this in half if you wanted to. It's very, very whatever. But I like this a lot more than rubber. So, I mean, if Mattel, if you want to go back to this paper style, I'll take that over the rubber any day. But you do have the DZ logo with the cheetah print in there. I want to use one of these to make a fantasy attire. I just think the cheetah print, maybe in a different color, would look really, really beautiful. So maybe I'll do that. Head scan's not the best, but it's still a great figure. I do enjoy the Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler. I think it's very, very underrated if you don't own one. Next up, we have two more custom Zigglers, but they are both in black attire. So nothing too crazy with these. We got the black and white attires. Uh, I cannot I think he just wore this on SmackDown or Raw. I think this may be before the brand split. I'm not exactly sure. Or, I can't remember, guys, but he did wear this on SmackDown and Raw a few times. And then we have the DZ Crew 
um, you know, the one with the DZs all over it. So uh, we got this in basic form. We did not get this in basic form. So we've seen these before. Um, I think I've used this on episode, episode one of MDT Live, I believe. That's the only custom I think I've ever used in an actual matchup. He did go on to lose that Battle Royal, but he was still on TV in the long tights. On this one, though, we do have the custom head sculpt right there with the ponytail tied back. I think that's excellent. You know, Showstopper did an excellent job on that. So any long tights Zigglers I have besides the Extreme Rules one are made by Showstopper. He's just the best Dolph Ziggler customizer. That's why he always does those. So those are two more custom Zigglers. Next up, we do have the Elite 13 Dolph Ziggler in the silver tights right here. Very unique figure right here. He has short hair for that, you know, little short span. He had the short hair. But uh, we do have the silver DZ. You got some black dots in there. A little bit of zebra print and off-color silver over the gray. Long knee pads. And then we have some white boots in there. Nothing too, too crazy. But I do like this figure. Came with the World Heavyweight title. He does have the smaller arms on there. I think it's pretty underrated. I think if you got this and did a head swap or something, you could easily, you know, make, you could make some noise. You know what I'm saying? Next up, we have an Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler fix-up. I put the custom tee with the World Heavyweight title in those same terrible pinkish throw-up pants, and I think this looks way better. I love this head sculpt. This is the Elite 19 head sculpt, I do believe, and it just looks great. I love this fix-up. It looks like Dolph Ziggler from that time as champion with AJ Lee and Big E running around. So this is a very underrated figure. I think this head skin is underrated as well. But next up, we do have my one and only... Elite 39 Dolph Ziggler with that same head sculpt. You know, I did head swap it from uh, that head sculpt back there. I can't even find it, but uh, I like these trunks. You know, you got the DZ and the bluish color silver trunks design. Not the same as the Elite 13. You know, they're a little bit different there, but spinning it around, it says over it on there. I do have a custom hoodie to go on here, but it is not in the video. But uh, yeah, very nice Dolph Ziggler. I did an arm, arm swap with it to get off those massive arms. This is way more accurate. Through the Elite 19 head scan on there, and it is a great Dolph Ziggler fix-up. Next up, we do have my custom Money in the Bank Dolph Ziggler from when he won the contract. And uh, this is very nice. Made by Showstopper Custom Figs. It says Headliner right there in that blue and pink over the black with the shimmer to it. Very great custom. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do this attire. So it is near and dear to me. Uh, he went a different approach with the hair. He added like black into the base. And I think it works out okay. It's not my favorite. But uh, I wanted that moment that he won the actual briefcase. So that is what that is. We also have the uh, blue Money in the Bank briefcase. Obviously from the moment. And that pretty much does it for this Ziggler. Very great Dolph Ziggler there. And to finish us off. We do have my custom Fantasy Ziggler that you guys have seen a hundred million times. Different formulas all over the place. Elite 39 boots. Some random arms I found. Dolph Ziggler custom hoodie to throw it all together. Elite 48 Ziggler head scan. Elite 19 Ziggler base. And then I painted over the logos with black and added silver outline to make it, you know, throw it all together. I think it really looks great. I love this attire so much, and this is how he looks on MDT Live. But yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for my Dolph Ziggler Elite Figure Collection. I did do this video, I think, about seven or eight months back, but I wanted to redo it because I did add some Zigglers, and, you know, that video needed an update there. But uh, if there's any other collection videos you would like to see, please comment down below so I will know to post them in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Leave a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.